the dedication and ribbon cutting for the iconic Beverly Hills Electric Fountain. I'm Nancy Hunt Coffey. I'm the Community Services uh, Department Head, which is the department that oversees, in part, parks for the city. We are thrilled to be here today to celebrate this momentous and historic occasion of the beauty, the colors, and the dancing water. So I am thrilled, as I'm sure many of you are today, to be part of this restoration and reinvigoration of the fountain. I'd like to welcome you to the dedication of the electric fountain, which is also in Beverly Gardens, which is the city's landmark number 20. It's really a recognizable symbol of Beverly Hills. It's something that is one of our treasures. When we had, for example, a rose parade float a couple of years ago, the electric fountain was prominently featured on that float. And it has come to be a symbol uh, of everything that makes Beverly Hills great. It's one of only several historic features found on these 23 park blocks that uh, consist, uh, that, that make the treasured Beverly Gardens Park, and, and as said, specifically, it is one of the city's most treasured landmarks. The fountain was a gift to the city of Beverly Hills from the mother of silent screen star Harold Lloyd. The fountain was actually filled using water from our Cabrillo Reservoir area. It was filtered and it was literally trucked in. No potable water was used in filling this fountain. In pulling together the community resources and matching funds from the city to put this to on together, this program. We started with the lily pond, now at the electric fountain, and I think the progress of this project will continue forward. We still have quite a bit of work ahead of us, and we really thank the community and their hard work and participation in making that happen. At the very least, we can give you a piece of paper to acknowledge what you have done for us. I mean, but you should know that in that piece of paper, you have all of our thankfulness, and you have our hearts there. We're here at the, one of the most important icons in Beverly Hills, the uh, famous electric fountain here at Wilshire and Santa Monica Boulevard. It's supposed to be the gateway to Beverly Hills. And what it depicts is a Tongva Indian up above praying for rain, which we need now. <laughs> we always need rain. So they were praying for it even then. The, this fountain was funded by Harold Lloyd's mother through the Beverly Hills Women's Club and they opened it in 1931, designed by Ralph Flewellen, who was a uh, wonderful architect, who was the architect for the city hall and the post office. And uh, this depiction of this sculpture, which is very interesting, is was uh, sculpted by, by Mr. Gage. And Gage and Flewellen were architects for the city. So interestingly enough, Today, at this celebration of the reopening of the restoration of this, we had Gabrielle. Just say we had Tongva Indians here to actually give the uh, blessing for this fountain because it's important to them that people remember that the Indians were here first, the Tongva Indians, then the Spanish, and then later on the developers and the ranchers into what we know now today as the city of Beverly Hills. So this is a reminder with a little story that wraps around its fountain, which tells us the story of the early days of the Tongva, and, and, and it goes through the ages when the Spanish come with the ranchos. So this is like a little history of Beverly Hills on the fountain. So that's why it's a wonderful thing to have and for people to know 
know about what it's about.